Okay, this is um, what would have been help video number three, I think, if I could find it. I think I've probably deleted it. Um, when I look back at what I did 12 or 15 years ago, it looks like such rubbish. But I'm still being asked for basic help. So this is probably one of the first things that you should learn when you first get your steel. Is the grips across the steel. Um, and it's down to muscle memory of getting your hand to recognise when you're hitting a particular group of strings. The basic grips across the steel would be like 6, 8 and 10 would be your bass grip or a bass grip. Um, 5, 6 and 8 is uh, also another grip that you'll use a lot. 4, 5 and 6 and 3, 4 and 5. Bit out of tune there but... Near enough for this demonstration anyway. So the tune that you're going to play is Glenn Miller's Little Brown Jug and we start on the bass grip then five six and eight now we do it again with the pedals down the A and B pedal Just move it up and down. Four, five and six. Top note for melody. Then three, four and five. So that's covered three, four and five. Four, five and six. Five, six and eight. Six, eight and ten. And if you just play that little brown jug until you're really sick of it, by that time your fingers should go to the correct strings. And you can take it up the fretboard and play it up to the 12th fret. You'll get bored to tears, but it might work. So I'm getting fed up with it already. Anyway, give it a try. It will get you started and it will start the muscle memory in your hand to finding those grips that you need. And um, there's all sorts of things I could show you, but that is the basic thing to start with. Um, hope you like Glenn Miller. He wrote some great tunes. Thanks for watching.